So in today's Black Ops 6 video, this is something that's been heavily requested, but I don't really have that many gameplays to showcase on YouTube right now because I've been grinding a lot of camo. So this is going to be a nice, short and sweet video going over all of my controller settings and then followed by all of my graphics and audio settings that I use on Black Ops 6. Starting off with the controller settings section, obviously we have the aiming input device as controller. Button layout will forever be default, same with stick layout preset. Some of the changes in this game compared to my normal Warzone settings is that instead of using 7-7 seven, seven cents, I'm now using 9-9 nine, nine because for some reason 9-9 nine, nine in Black up six feels like seven seven did in warzone not really sure why they changed that but it's just kind of how it feels like to me the rest of these bottom four settings below the sensitivity are all set to default or off control vibration off of course that's preference though if you like it then you know turn it on you'll be, you'll be fine and then in my dead zone defaults these actually transferred over from my warzone account so i didn't change these at all these are the same dead zones i used on warzone as well that wraps up the controller settings now we're moving on over to aiming and you got sensitivity multiplier all of these i don't really understand and i think they're for warzone obviously black up six hasn't integrated into warzone just yet but i'm pretty sure all of these are for warzone because there's not really any vehicles in this game yet right then you go down to look inversion on foot obviously that's set to standard and then under aiming advanced settings you have look inversion again which is obviously not enabled and this is one of the more important settings that i've seen a lot of people on social media say that you need to change i believe by default this is on after zoom but i guess you want to change it to gradual i've had it on since i started playing black Ops 6 when it came out and the description of this exact setting is sensitivity multiplier is progressively applied when alternating between hip fire to fully zoomed in whereas if you set it to instant it is immediately applied when aiming down sights not entirely sure what that means but i switch it to gradual because i've seen a lot of the pro players say that gradual is the better option aim response curve type i have this set to linear and then directly under aim response curve type you can see the custom sensitivity for zoom this is obviously a setting that was in warzone and all the previous call of duties up until about bo4 or so and again this should transfer over to, from your warzone account so what you're seeing on screen right now is the same settings that i use in warzone 0.75 for low zoom 0.75 for two to three times zoom and recently ever since i made that one intervention video a couple months ago i actually changed all of my higher zoom up to 1.10 because I feel like it makes me snipe a little bit better. Again, you should transfer over from your war zone so you don't really have to change these if you have no interest in changing these. Obviously, target aim assist is going to be on, motion sensor behavior is off, and you don't really need these unless you're using a like Xbox adaptive controller. After aiming, of course, we're going to go over to the movement category, and I personally have sprint assist off, but if you look at other people's videos or if you look at other people on social media, they're going to heavily tell you to put sprint assist on. When you have sprint assist off, sprint is activated manually with the sprint button, which is what I like, and I've always used that. And the reason people are saying, we want sprint assist on is because the full movement input will activate sprint after the sprint assist delay time so if you press x or square or whatever to go into the show more options for this a lot of people will tell you to turn sprint assist on and then change sprint assist delay to zero that basically just means that there will be no delay from you pushing forward the left thumbstick where your character actually starts to sprint it's basically auto sprint with minimal delay. So if you do like auto sprint, make sure to turn this on and turns the sprint assist delay to zero. If you don't like auto sprint and you're like me and you like to smash your controllers button until they break, then make sure you keep this off and then nothing under it really matters if you have it off. Mantle assist, the same as sprint assist, I have this off. Same with all of the uh, settings under it. Crouch assist, I have on. And that's only because I think this is a new, newer setting for this game in particular. But if you guys pay attention to a lot of the maps on this game, there's a lot of those little corridors or there's little vents that you can like crouch under or you can use to escape a lot of gunfights. There's that one uh, face-off map that I'm thinking of where it's like that little tiny square-shaped building with the little roofs that you can jump across in the middle. This helps a lot because it'll automatically crouch if you go near one of those openings, so you don't have to press the button, and it kind of just like, you know, saves you a little bit of time. I have it on. I might turn it off later in the future. I'm not entirely sure. I've just been trying it out, and I personally like it right now. Following that, I have corner slice on. It simulates a corner slice by slightly inclining your weapon and camera when a corner is nearby. That's kind of that lean thing, that new lean thing that's in this game. I have it on just because it's new. Again, this is something that I might change in the future if I start to get tired of it, but it's a new feature, so I want to just give it a go since it's day one and the game's out. If you turn this off, you will no longer have that little tilt animation that you have that your character does if you kind of like ADS near a corner. Slide dive behavior, I have on tap the slide, and then if you show more under that, I change my slide dive activation delay all the way to short. I believe default is medium, but I changed mine to short. Auto peak door, I have on. That basically means if you ADS next to a door, the door will automatically open for you. This is default off as well. I'm not really sure why. I always thought that was default on in the Modern Warfare games, but I guess for this game, it's not. So if you do like the door opening slightly as you ads near it then turn this on because that'll you know keep that setting a uh, thing in your game automatic airborne mantle i have on sprint restore i have on so i maintain sprint i have on parachute automatic behavior this is for warzone obviously you want it off unless you want the parachute to manually open movement advanced settings let's go to that sprint and tactical sprint behavior i have on toggle that's default auto move forward i have off if you like the game to move forward for you as you you know push the stick or whatever forward uh keep, turn it on if you'd like tactical sprint activation i have single tap sprint plunging underwater i have trigger and sprinting door bash i have on Next step is vehicle advanced settings, but I don't think we 
really need to change that until Warzone comes out, or if a mode comes out that has vehicles in it. I'm not really sure if we're gonna get like a like a large map mode like we had in uh, Modern Warfare 3 with the war mode. And next we have combat, aim down sight behavior, I'm on hold, that's default of course, weapon on activation, default. Uh, dedicated melee weapon activation. You just hold melee. This is the new thing because you actually have your two weapons in your loadout and then you can also have a knife 24-7. So this is kind of just preference, uh, weapon cycle or hold melee. If you do weapon cycle, if you have your AR out and you press Y or triangle to switch to your sidearm, pressing Y or triangle again will then switch to your knife and then you have to press it again to get back to your primary. Whereas the default, just hold melee, you just have to hold your melee button and your knife will come out. This one's for Warzone. I have on ply one C4 detonation activation all at once. Yep, default behavior hold manual fire behavior default combat advanced settings let's see these these all seem to be pretty generic uh settings that you don't really need to change too much i actually haven't even looked at this page now that i think about it and that basically sums up all of my controller settings like i said they're basically the same as i had in warzone but uh, you know a few minor changes and a few new settings that you guys maybe want to you know make sure you have on or off yourself and now for the graphic settings now this is something that i am not very literate with uh i was actually watching part of iceman isaac's settings video to kind of see how he goes over his graphic settings and that man's absolutely insane when it comes to breaking down and everything he uses and why he uses it so if you guys want like a really in-depth explanation of graphic settings and what to use and what not to use definitely go check out his most recent video uh, on his channel iceman isaac but for me personally i'm just going to kind of scroll through these so you guys can see like what i have as my settings obviously you know you want your monitor to match your monitors refresh rate same with uh display resolution aspect ratio etc all, all this stuff is pretty default none of this should really be uh wrong for you if you have everything like you know plugged in right my custom frame rate for me personally is 170 and then 30 30 in the menus that's entirely up to your system i, I put it at 170 because any higher my pc gets really hot for some reason and then as we scroll through the rest of the stuff down here all of it's just stuff that either i'm not really literate with in knowing what this means or it's just default moving on over to quality i actually changed my graphic preset to balance if you guys remember i've always been a very prominent member of the you know extreme graphic settings a lot of people would always question why my warzone fps was so low when i had such a decent setup or pc this is why um i change it to balance because for some reason with this game i'm getting like 80 fps uh, which is way too low i mean i have 130 in warzone which is good enough for me i could get higher if i turn down the settings in my warzone but i like the videos to look nice but for bo6 personally uh i can't have everything on high anymore so i just change it to balanced and then i change this to nvidia dlss which is the same i have in warzone and then the rest of the stuff again is just default uh, all of this stuff is in order for me to get like 150, 160 FPS in this game rather than 80. Again, for me on Warzone, all of this is set to either high or uh, like extreme or whatever. But this game's a little bit more demanding for some reason, even though it doesn't really look as good in my opinion. So there you guys go. If you want to like, you know, jot that down, that's just what I have to make my PC not blow up. Uh, view, obviously field of view is 120. Uh, ADS field of view is affected. It's always been affected. Weapon field of view, you want to change this to wide if you're good at aiming. If you're not good at aiming, maybe change this to narrow. Wide will give you more visibility on your screen when looking at an enemy. And then the rest of this stuff is going to be default. Obviously you want motion blur and weapon blur off. And then first person camera movement, that's actually a good one. Make sure to change that to 50. Th this one's a good one for everyone. And then yeah, I have headphone base boost on. This is not for sure yet. I haven't really decided which one's the best. Every Call of Duty is a little bit different when it comes to these audio mixes. And then that basically sums up everything guys um for the next few days i have a few videos planned i have a i have a video that's gonna be a gameplay tomorrow's gonna be a gameplay not just me scrolling menus all right tomorrow's video is gonna be a gameplay and the day after tomorrow as well i have planned which is gonna be another black ops 6 gameplay for, but after those two videos depending on how you guys like it you know feel free to let me know in the comments if you guys want to continue to see more bo6 but depending on how you guys like it uh, I may do more. I may think of more stuff to do. Or if not, maybe we'll go back to uh, Warzone content until the integration. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope some of the settings help you guys play a little bit better. And uh, yeah, enjoy Black Ops 6, guys, and have a good rest of your day.